Hello, this is Demon coming back for another round of Transport Fever. So we ended the last episode and I got my pretty much my entire industrial base design, so I'm quite happy with myself at this point. Um, the next thing we got to do is um, basically start getting the goods transporting from this region at the factory and start getting it to the outlying regions like Monroeville and on the different sides of Pittsburgh. Um, once that's done, I basically can just sit on my ass and do whatever the hell I please for a bit. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start getting the landlines built. Now my big concern is this right here, is I have Tesla's factory right there. Now my thing is, is that I want to build near, I want to build here, but I want to have it connected. So I might have to destroy a couple houses to be able to actually do it because I can't transport the goods anywhere else near it, but it's so expensive. Like, I'm spending $200,000 on this just to get a thing built. Now, I'm wondering if there's... Well, wait a minute, that's 190. I can justify under 200,000. There we go. So that's where that's going to get built. Now, it's not a large one, it's a small one, but I think I could put two different goods here. So if I look at it, yeah. So we have two different lines we could put here. That's the coal, and that could be the machine goods. Um, I need to build another one over here in the central region of Pittsburgh, so I'll probably build it um, right over... Can I get it somehow right about here? Without destroying a house. Yes, that's fine with me. And then we will end the last one somewhere over... Hmm, a good place to build it near all the goods. Let's build it right about... Can I sneak it? Yes! Good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. So what we're going to do is I have to basically get this done. So let's go ahead and do five. These guys are going to be transporting. Which one is it? This. It is machines. So let's go ahead and get the machines done. Machines. And I got to build separate lines for it. This will be a new line. You are going to connect from here all the way down. Let's go ahead. Let's do the south side first. So what this is going to be is machines. I'm going to call it south south side machines. And I'm going to have it be the color. Go for like a violet blue. I can live with that. Alright, so that one's done, but I gotta edit that line, I actually forgot. Okay, so south side machines, I need it to go from Monroeville, so I need you guys on full. And you guys are gonna go upper Pittsburgh south side, just do that. Alright, so that's fine, go ahead and get, get her going. Get you guys going, go, 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 go. And then go ahead, find me another five, and we're gonna do the same thing. So I'll let the game run a little bit, this will let my money come in. That, get this, new line, you were going to connect from this all the way down. I think we'll go ahead and do this one next, and then this will be, was that central? I think that's, is that central? Pittsburgh Central, yeah, so we'll do um, central machines. This color will go ahead and be, I think we did like, we'll do a cyan color. So, go halt, you're gonna go to that, and then go here. And then that's good. You guys can transport more goods for me in and out. And then I need another five. Five. Didn't think about this, but I probably should have waited on building a lot of that, because that might clog up the, uh, the region here. Okay. Okay, so let's do this and then connect you to is this north. Okay. North side machines. And we just science. Let's go for a light let's go for like a palish light green. And then same thing with you guys. You guys are going to go for full 
and then you're gonna empty down there and then that should start getting us a little bit of money. Now you can build boats in this game. That was actually the one thing I didn't actually make mention of. But you can do boats. They are a thing. Alright, money wise we're doing pretty good. Resources are transporting. I gotta build... Oh, almost forgot. I gotta build another one down here near the coal. So let's just flip it. This has to be here. Now this one I'm not entirely concerned with like it getting done right away, so let's just do, I'm not going to build anything there, let's just do this again. Give me another, did I build one too many? So, alright, that's fine. You are going to go to coal, 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 set the line, you guys are going to go from here. You guys are gonna go down to here. And I'm gonna call this Tesla line. This will be called Tesla line. This one will be. We'll go for a darkish green. That's fine with me. All right. The goods are transporting. Very nice. All right. So, in terms of money, we're doing pretty excellent. Now, I did get access to a new train. So let me see what this new train can do. So the ones I currently am running are $687,000, which means they're pretty goddamn expensive. But they go 60 kilometers an hour, which isn't too bad. The next option I have is I can go to these 260 moguls. Now these ones are a bit better, more up to date, and they go an additional 15 kilometers an hour. Um, weight, they weigh well over double. We're like two and a half running costs 162 so we're jumping up 50 well over fifty thousand dollars tractive effort stuff like that it's not too bad so they're kind of a worthwhile investment but i think our best bet is to save a fair bit of money up for a while so i actually am going to go ahead and let the money soak up um at the same time i'm going to go ahead and start doing more of these missions so we already did the eastern side mission i think last episode did i do it this episode I remember. So let's go ahead and just continue. A gigantic generator that generates such ah. gigantic sparks. So that's telling. Gigantic amounts of coal. So Our yeah. So. Our partner's chief tinkerer, a certain Nikola Tesla, needs tons of coal to keep the generators running for his alternating current experiments. It's urgent. So this is the one where I was already building that line for it, but you have to transport coal down here to Uncle Tesla. So until he's done, there's not much else I can do with it. So. As I said before, I have pretty much all the goods I need at this point getting transported. We're doing pretty well financially. The only thing that could really change anything is if I up production, which means I have to spend more money on more goods. So what I'm probably going to go ahead and do is um, the coal train. Once it's done, is I'm going to have it go back here and I'm going to actually add two more um, carts to the back of it. And I'm going to keep using it. I'm not going to upgrade to the mobile trains yet. I don't, in my personal opinion, I don't think financially they make any sense to build. The ones that I got are already going pretty fast. Well, maybe I can upgrade one of them. Let me, let me, let me, let me dip a ball in here. Go ahead and, go ahead back, get back. I want to see what you can do. I got 2.94 million. If it can improve my speed and I get more money out of this, it's somewhat worthwhile. So let's sit there and see. So let's exit this out by train. Let's go ahead and do it. As a result, I spent a fair bit of money and now I want to increase my investment. So you are going to transport more coal and you are going to get set back on the coal line. Now let's see what the difference is. Now we're back at 2.38. If I can keep it over 2 million, I'm going to keep this going. That's, I think that seems about right. Two, I think over two million is pretty fair for what we're dealing with. And this will increase coal production. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Alright. So which one are you? You are... You are the iron one. We'll let you keep going.
let's see how much money this coal gets me. If it makes me a fair bit of money, I'm, I'm gonna do it again. Eh, 200,000 seems like about right. I think I get more money out of the iron than the timber, to be honest. Yeah, 211,000, not bad, that's not bad. Okay, head back here. How much do I get money-wise out of iron? That's the question. If I get a lot of money, about the same. Uh, that's your issue. You can't get on that side, you lazy bastard. Well, I guess I could do this. Somebody's probably screaming like, Demon, you can make that more effective. Yeah, probably. <laughs> to be honest, I really, really wanted to play this game. I could add like four terminal lines and have like four trains flying in and out of these places all the time, but it's just, I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> Wait until you see a later game, guys. It's going to be awesome when you see me doing it. I'm going to go ham. You're going to see like four or five of these things, all the goods getting transported through like one or two lines. It's going to be crazy. I did that before and I went all out on it. So, what I want you to do is, I think the iron one is the guy I'm going to give, I'm going to have to go back first. I, I like him most. I trust iron. Let's go ahead and get Iron Man back. You can head back. We're over 3.29 million. We're going to still be making money. Uh, the logs are still coming in pretty ham. We got a fair bit of iron resources I got to start transporting more goods out of. And it seems like the guy on the coal line is doing an excellent job. So. Uh, let's sit there and see. I'm going to switch. Get more of these goods going. You can head to Central. Get more goods out. Alright, has my train arrived back home yet? Yes, she has. So. Go ahead and sell this. Buy. Go ahead and get this. And we are going to add two new gondolas to you as well. So, iron. Iron. Set to the iron line. Go ahead. As long as I'm over two million, I'm perfectly fine with doing this. That's a lot of money to be going with. Go ahead and turn it around, because that makes sense for a game mechanic. I can't blame him for adding that. Like, as, annoy as weird and like unrealistic as it is to allow me to do that, to build and spend all the money to build a tra a railroad system that connected backwards would cost, a f would cost you a fortune and it ain't worth it as a player. So you guys are doing fine. I have another group of you guys heading to Central. Go ahead and get me another five. Machines, 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 machines. Go ahead and head to north side. And give me another five. Machines, machines, machines. You guys can head to the south side. Perfectly fine, good. And then I'm going to need more timber. So once this guy's done transporting his goods, as long as I'm around 2 million, I think I'm fine. And the iron and the coal guys are bringing in even more resources. So that's even more resources I can use to produce um, machines, which then I can transport more of it of and then keep the progress going. Wow, these guys are really getting stuck by. What the hell? How many, how many machines do you have? Is that the north side guys? Oh, they're the ones that are not getting any goods. And this is clogging this up. Yeah, that's another mechanic that I haven't figured out yet. Like, if you look at this, um, north side doesn't need machines. But central does. I wonder if I should just cancel that central one. Well, I am making money. How much money? Oh, 
not bad. <sighs> Just that one side ain't getting enough goods. I wonder if I ramp up production if I'll get more. Yeah, we're gonna have to ramp up production. Cause it seems like those guys are getting their fill, but the other guys aren't. So you're gonna head home. I'm gonna reuse you. And we'll get it all set up and ready. Now, if I notice that the central one isn't getting anything, I'm more than like, or the, yeah, I think it's north side one isn't getting anything. I'm gonna start switching people to off of it and send them to other places. Sell you, get a brand new one out. That's fine with me. Alright, so sell me that. Get some of my investment back. Buy me another one of those. And I need two more state cars. Go ahead, timber. Timber. Set you on the timber line. My trains grow stronger. Okay, how much coal wiser have you got? Alright. Do I have a lot of these guys just sitting there? Oh no, not really. Why is why is all this all those resources going everywhere but Northside? Maybe it's just because Northside is such a, a huge haul. Got 10. Oh, okay, he's at 30. That's not bad. So let's go ahead and see what um, Southside has to Large offer. parts of the population still fear electricity. We must convince these people that electricity is no threat, but a blessing to mankind by providing them with a new mode of transport that will delight them all. Oh, uh, I remember this one. So what this will allow you to do is you get access. Where is it? Transport people by electric streetcar. So, test the streetcar by street tracks and stars build streetcar depot by. So basically, what I got to do is, if you go on here, I think it's the is it the trams? It might be trams. So what ends up happening is I have to build this little thing here, and then I have to basically spend a whole shit ton of money to upgrade these to allow the transportation of tramways. Which means I basically have to spend all my money on this. Luckily it's actually not that much I'm spending. It's financially it's pretty simple. So I'm just gonna upgrade all of Southside. I don't really care. I again this is one of those ones that I don't find particularly useful because it's not really that good for money. Like, I mean, all your money you make in this game comes from the industrial stuff. None of it comes from this. If anything, I think this, it, it just in my opinion, I think this is just a money where just, just the bad players have to build these things. I don't know if the guys who made this knew about it. It's just, I don't know. I just don't like it that much. It's just not fun. All right. So everything seems connected. Um, I'm pretty simple with it. Just build... Bus stop, so go here, here. Um, so down here, build another one up here, build another one over here, build another one out here, here. I'm not particularly worried about it. Buy five trams. Set line, new line. My my thing is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hook it up to everything. So if people want to get south side and they want to run around, they can run around. Here, that can go over. To here. That can go here. Which in turn goes here. Which in turn goes here, and then go. Over here. Then it goes over here. I 
think that's all of them, right? Yeah, that's all of them. And this will let people get transported around for a while. Huh. Didn't actually think about that, but if you noticed, they're able to do 180 degree turns without actually having to do 180 degree turns. Maybe I should let that be the last one. I didn't really think about where I was placing these things. Kind of just build them randomly without a care in the world. Eh, I don't care. I don't see this as being a money-making machine. All my money is invested is out here. This is where my money's at. This is where it all comes in at. Okay, so yeah, North yeah, Northside is getting some machine parts. That's good. That's what I was worried about. It seems like the central and the um, south side ones are really raking in the dough. That I probably should I, I should probably invest more in them. Um, so yeah, we're making a fair bit of steel. So let's go ahead. Since we are making a little bit of over on steel, and I'm having a fair bit of resources pile up, let's go ahead. Let's get these guys going. You can get set to the steel line. And then I actually want to spend a little bit more money. And we're going to get more guys on Central and South side. So you can go ahead and head back to Central. And let's go ahead and get you on South side. So another flicker. South side. North side ain't making me money, but central and south side are. North side, I think, just because it's so far away, there's just not enough goods getting made. But now that I'm doing this, it should really ramp up production. Let's see, Tesla's got 50 of his coal. That's not bad. Transport people by electric streetcar. I got one. I just gotta let these guys go for a bit. They'll eventually situate themselves properly. I also really enjoy the music for this game. It's very calming. It's better than... It, like, it ain't action-packed like I want it to be, but, I mean, this is just supposed to be a relaxation game. Where the hell are you guys supposed to be transporting? Okay, so you guys are the ones with the machines. I wonder if I should just cancel those. It just seems like Northside is getting, like, no resources. I mean, look at the difference. Nothing. They're, they're making me nothing. <sighs> Maybe I should. How many guys do I got on Northside machines? I got ten. I mean, they're positive. I think it's just... I, th that's the other thing with this, is, is that when you're doing the production... The game actually isn't stupid when it comes to these automated sequences. It, it's actually pretty smart. It's making the assumption that Central and South Side has got the most accessible resources between the entire group, so it's transporting a lot more of the goods to that region because of it. Also, I'm noticing that I'm falling behind slightly on timber, and I got a lot of logs over here. Let's go ahead. Let's go ham a little bit. Build me more of these. I want more logs out of here. And then it's just a matter of just sitting here and letting the game play out. Uh, logging line. What's this? Line 01. What's line 1? Oh, that's the passenger. Oh, I'll just call it... South side... Street... Converse. I don't care about this one. Crappy looking green. Ah, uh, the money rakes in. Good. Good production value is doubling. I wonder if I should get more guys doing cold Tesla. 
Yeah, look at just look how busy these roads are. This is just a wonder. I love this is what I like about the game. That's that's the only thing I like. It, it's both very interesting, but also quite weird. Is the fact that as the player, you can see how much money is getting made out of this. Like um, I'm making 102,000. Like this is the only time I've ever seen like you go positive if you actually have these trains going for uh, uh, transporting of people. Like I got nine out of 14 people on here, but it only goes 40 kilometers an hour. So what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is I have a lot of excess money. We're gonna send the old train back home, get rid of the people on it, and I'm actually gonna upgrade this line. So instead of having just the one train doing this, I'm gonna upgrade it to a more expensive train for faster transportation, and also add an ex and give it two uh, different passenger cars to use. So. We're going to go ahead and sell this, sell this, and I'm going to spend for a f faster train, and we're going to go for two passenger cars. And then this will get set to the Monroe to Pittsburgh line. This is more people getting transported, and it's done in a faster way, so I'm making, so in theory, I should make more money. <laughs> but that is in theory. Now, I think there's a way... Wasn't there a button so I can actually, like, zoom in on this thing? I can't remember. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, so this is it. So you can actually get it to where you can go on the front end of the camera and then hook at everything as you go. Go wee! I'm on the twain. You can hear it revving and everything. You can see it going faster and speed up. You don't actually notice how fast it's actually getting because it does give you a speed uh, uh, speedometer down here so you can kind of see the speed, but it is so fast. Hey look, there's the coal train. But you can sit there and see how fast it's going. It's amazing. I, I, I love that. It's a nice little feature. Although I think we're starting to reach the pinnacle of what I can transport though. I think goods are starting to peak. So I'm probably going to need this to hurry up rather quickly. Because if you've noticed, I'm getting a bit of a piling up of um, spare goods. Primarily over here. So what's going to probably go ahead and I say let's do this. Um, is you guys are going to head back here. I want you guys back in a tram. Anything on the north on the north side one is going to get deleted. Or I'm actually going to send them on... Um, Transportations to south or for the south side and central region because I can make more money. All right. All right. I mean, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I click? Okay, so. I actually don't want to set everybody the one line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I just tell you which one to go to? Not really. Central. Central. Three, four, five. And then you guys can go to Southside Machines, Southside, Southside, Southside. Didn't think about that, but I could have just set the rest of them to all and just had them all go there at the same time. Alright, so that's not bad. So that'll actually make me more money, because, as I was saying, Northside really wasn't making much in terms of finances. However, Central and Southside were making me a lot of money from transporting goods, especially Southside. Southside's got a lot of machine parts sitting in here. And that means I can get more goods out, so... I'm actually going to increase production again. So, you are going to go for machines... Machines. Oop, that's another one done. Which one was that? Transport people by electric cart. Oh, that's not bad. So you can head to Southside Machines. You go and buy me another five.
and then you guys can head to Central. That's more money. Especially Southside. My God, look at the amount of money I'm getting for those machines. I must have. I must have built that tram in a really nice spot. That's why I'm getting so much more in resources. That's that's the only thing I can think of is why I'm getting so much in terms of financial money and production on that end. I think I built it in the right area for it, so it's gonna maximize its production on it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Now it's got time to build up again. It's got a brand new set of resources in. I don't have any real steel there. How's the... Steel is still getting produced pretty quickly. We got no excess resources here. I'm wondering if I should try Seems like I'd really could use more of that. So, which one are you? Alright. So, what I'm going to do is you're going to keep driving, drive, 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 turn around. Damn it. Turn around before you get there, because I want to... I'm going to add another cart to each of these guys. Here, turn around. idea of alternating current. Damn it. There's even more good news. A hydroelectric power plant will soon generate power at Niagara Falls, and the operating company is on the lookout for the man who can build this power plant. That can only be one man. If George Westinghouse Me. manages to increase his sales just a little bit more, Timber. he'll be awarded the contract and finally emerge victorious in the war of currents, while we come away with shares in his company which have significantly increased in value. Iron line. There we go. That'll give me a little bit more and I can get rid of more shit. Go ahead and return. You can go back that way. That's fine with me. Good. You you got more coal, right? Very nice. Very nice. Uh, are you on that weird area on the line still? Yep. Go ahead and get off it and then turn around. Oh, keep going. Keep her going. Keep her going. Now turn around. There we go, we got it. Alright. <laughs> Seems like I could use a lot more logs. Got a lot of logs here. So before I just want these guys focusing on this. Logging log. Very good. Now, has my coal man made it back yet? Yes, he has. Go ahead and head back, boys. I want money. Money, 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 money. As I said before, I could probably maximize my finances pretty easily in this. If I wanted to, I could build multiple lines to transport goods. Um, but as I said before, there is a limit. And it, it's a bad limit. Um, because as you can sit there and say, you can fl flood the market full of these resources, and unless they're getting used, you can have a lot of back or excess waste. And there's a point where the money quits, com quits coming in. Now, I know for a fact that I can get this done, and I think after we produce the machines, I think this, this level is over, so I'm going to extend this one a little bit longer just to get this episode done, and then I'm probably gonna go and get ready for the next mission. So look at my little train, it goes vroom, 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 ring, ring, ring. Look at it, I love this train, train goes boom, boom. And we're already at 55, 56 produced machines, produced machines. Wow, so as long as I have goods coming in through here. Oh, and here's the steam lorry. Oh, okay, so, um, let me see. Uh, okay, so I actually have a way of dealing with this, so, the steel line. Sell all the machines. You guys are all going to come back, I'm going to sell you all, we're going to get rid of you. I think, yes. Sell, 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 sell. Alright, one, two... Actually, put you over here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I gotta set all these guys on steel. However, you'll get to see how much better they are. Because these are, in theory, cars. Now, watch this. Look at the little vehicles, they go vroom, vroom, vroom. I feel like these need more coal. I might want a production. Yeah, maybe not. Seems like they are transporting the goods. It just took it a sec because there was a delay. Yeah, it should be fine. I just had to wait for it to quit the delay because, uh,. Removing that, removing that resource for a while for them guys actually going out and doing stuff actually hurt it, so and hurt the line a little bit because it means the resource is backed up. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is central. Uh, we're going to sell. What the hell? What the hell do I have? This? Well, that's it. <laughs> The current of alternating current is unstoppable. The war of currents has been won. Alright, so that's actually the end of it. Uh, there was a couple of turning point in the war of currents, coal with coal. Um, so this is it saying you did it, says the whole Pittsburgh electrified, the triumph of alternating current is unstoppable. The war of currents has been won. Um, I was actually just going to go and sell everything, but I guess I don't have to do it. Uh, so we got out of having to do... Um, selling all those guys and just producing more goods, but I would have just built more cars and increased my money count. So we actually ended it on a really great note. We went to 10.1 million. So we, I think we only had like, what was it? Maybe 5 million on that. If that, we might have even had less than that. We might add like 3 million or 4 million in terms of cash. And I turned that into 10 million. So I did pretty good in considering the fact that the last one, we really went down in the negatives on that. Or we had, I think we had like under a million. So as I said before, you can win this game, it's just a matter of figuring out how the transporting works. Now, as of now, I'm trying to figure this out, but for some reason I have a glitch right now where my... It's like, you know when you have a controller that breaks and thumbsticks that there makes you go forward? This is what I'm dealing with right now, but I don't know why. Um, the only thing I think of is when I was clicking on that, it glitched, and it was right before I actually finished it. So, um, yeah, this is the end of the mission of industrialization. If if this is probably the pinnacle of what I like for the game, I really like games that are like this, where it's like you go and make steel and stuff like that. You got to go and transport. Because this is the mission that really makes me love this game, because it's not it's not the it's not a real easy mission you have to plan everything out and have everything set up accordingly like you got to know you got to get like the best train you can possibly get at the time which was that one to one sixty kilometers an hour for us that was the best thing i could get and you build a small tr like a bit of goods to transport flood in a little bit of resources get your taste get a taste of some money that's when you reach a point in the game where it suddenly upgrades you and you hit the next step and you get those real nice mogul trains that go even faster. That's when you add more carts to it. Then you sit there and transport goods faster, and it's faster and faster and faster. Eventually you reach a point where it just becomes this, where you're at 10 million and the game just runs smooth. And you're just sitting back, relaxing, and you try to complete the missions. Um, that's usually how I recommend to play this game. Um, if you play this, um, try to get your industrial base up like I did. If you, to do this mission or any other missions, you'll notice that every time we play, my goal is to get goods handled and finished so I don't have to give a damn about them. The more money I am making, the faster I'm making it, is all I ever need. Uh, so, and I, and then it lets me do the missions and then you guys can just enjoy the game. But I think some people might want to see all the industrial bit, like me building the train networks and showing how the lines work and everything. Cause it's really fun and really awesome to watch. Cause it's like, you learn all the intricate little parts to deal with. So, um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next round of transport fever. See you then.